Hello. So you've just painted a masterpiece and you've just sold it to a, a happy buyer and they ask you the question, now how can I frame it? Because framing is very expensive in its own right. So this is my solution. It's a very modern look. There it is on the wall. It's frameless. And it seems to be floating off the wall. So you might think this is a, a pretty good, neat, modern replacement for the old fashioned frame and it's very cheap so what that's what this video is all about how to actually do this what you need is some some timber uh, this is from Bunnings it's about um, a dollar for 25 centimeters it's uh, 20 mil by 12 mil so if you want a fairly flush surface you want to be about 12 mil and so what I'm going to do is to get two sections of this wood cut two sections um, about as long it doesn't have to be as long as the the painting it can be maybe a half of the painting long so on the back i'll adhere two bits of wood back from the edge like so and between that I will run a wire and I'll give you a demonstration as I'm going along so what you need is is the wood as I said it's was well, $10 for 2.4 meters um, you'll need a couple of these screw on clips some wire some snips a saw a ruler perhaps a bit of sandpaper and some glue you can just use about any, any sort of glue but um, I mean typically if this was open I'd use liquid nails because it just sticks incredibly strongly these boards aren't very heavy uh, but obviously you don't want them to fall off the wall so use an effective glue what I'll use today is my handy Boncrete which besides being uh, I use for protecting the MDF it's also a wood adhesive so um, that should be quite effective so I'll go ahead and cut the bits of wood and demonstrate how it's going to go together right I've turned the painting upside down it's 60 centimeters tall and what I've done is I've cut two bits of wood 30 centimeters so that there are I mean this there's, there's not and no rocket science about this it's just a big percentage of the length of the wood and I'm going to mark it up so the two bits of wood at the same distance away from the edge and I'll mark it up so that they're even horizontally and then towards the top this is the top of the painting towards the top and about approximately one third from the top of the painting I'm going to screw these two into the side of the wood 
and then I'll be attaching the wire from there to there by doing that by screwing it into the side it's um, the paint has got the option to be flat with the wall if it was sticking out here it would once again be at an angle to the wall so I want it to be as flush as possible so what I'm going to do now is to uh, do some markings and we'll see what happens then right there's no um, there's no rules about this on my board which is 45 centimeters in width 60 centimeters in height I've marked a line seven centimeters from either side and I marked a line 15 centimeters down and I've also made a mark of 20 centimeters because 20 centimeters from the top is a third of the length and so what I'm going to be doing I'll be gluing the bits of wood in those positions and these string holders will be positioning so that the string will be a third of the distance from the top bearing in mind that there'll be some slack and so the nail in the wall will be in this kind of area over here depending on how slack you made the string so that's what I'll be doing next so using my trusty boncrete I've now after screwing those those um, what do you call them brackets um, I've now glued the bits of wood because it's plywood they push in very easily and they, they're self tappers they will just screw themselves in so you don't need any tools for getting those in you just screw them in centrally on the side so now I'm going to wait a while to let that dry and I'll keep a track of the gluing time to give you some indication of how long it takes but so far really this has been a five minute job besides the videoing it's been a very quick operation right it's all ready to go now so this will be hanging at that point there so let's see what happens Okay, I waited for the uh, for the glue to set for an hour. And this is the painting on the wall. As you can see, it's it's a uh, quite a modern look. It seems to be floating off the wall. What you need to do when it's framed like this, in other words, frameless, you want to just tidy up the edges maybe just blacken the edge and smooth it off and then it's a very very modern look cost uh, about two dollars fifty in materials took ten minutes of work time voila give it a go